And if you could talk to the heart of the children, if you would talk past their personality, and you would go right to the heart, they would be saying, teach me that I'm spirit. Teach me that we're all spirit. Don't be concerned about the body. Don't be concerned about the education. Don't be concerned about the future or what this body will do in the future. If you could hear their hearts, what their hearts are saying is, teach me that I am a spirit. So the best thing that you could do for the children is to accept your function as a miracle worker and teach only love. So thoroughly, so profoundly, that they are a smiling witness. Thank you. Thank you for being true to your heart. Thank you for not buying into these crazy beliefs. But thank you for going for the highest of highs, the remembrance of, of our true self. That's what every heart is, is crying out for. They're not crying out to be shaped and molded into something. They're crying out to let go, saying let go of all attempts to shape and mold and fix. That's it. That's what they're crying out for. And Jesus says, when you accept the gift of healing, he says in his workbook, legions upon legions will arise with you. When the mind accepts the goal of healing, the goal of being a divine expression of God's love, the humble goal of, I am as God created me, all the prisoners are set free. All of them. And it was only the ego that held the prisoners hostage. There's only one mind, and when that mind accepts the gift of healing, the hallucination is over. And that's how we get the happy dream. The happy dream is not the hundredth monkey. You know, the happy dream isn't when enough people, or when the collective reaches a certain point. It's, it's when the one mind recognizes itself as, as a divine being, as the Holy Christ. And all the prisoners are set free. <laughs>